If you are responsible for creating an employee protection plan to prevent getting COVID-19, the first step is to determine if the employee is high or low risk. Some employees are interacting with people more at work, making them more vulnerable to getting sick. Reducing exposure to an airborne virus is the most important thing you can do in reducing its spread. Consider the four Ds to determine the risk category. Duration, density, dilution, distance. Duration, how long will the employee or others be indoors? The longer time spent indoors, the more the air becomes filled with invisible airborne particles. Viruses that transmit as airborne particles, such as the viruses that cause COVID-19 and measles, pose a significant risk as they can travel long distances, up to 20 to 30 feet, and stay active in the air for at least four hours. The risk of transmission while indoors is much higher than in outdoor spaces. Without the aid of sunlight to stop the virus or wind to dilute it, the small particles of the virus can remain active for hours. Even with the best HVAC systems, it is impossible to recreate the outdoor experience in an indoor space, allowing the virus to build up over time. Density. How many people are in the space? How many are not vaccinated? How many people are sick and not showing signs? And how many are not wearing masks? As these numbers increase, so does the risk. Scientific research proves Masks help protect the wearer and those around them from infection and viral spread. The more unmasked, unvaccinated, or infected people without showing signs, the more likely the disease will spread. Vaccination does not provide immunity from infection, but it does decrease the risk of getting infected and makes it less severe when you do. That's why the vaccination status of the employee and the density of vaccinated individuals are important risk factors to consider. Dilution. Being outdoors is relatively safe compared to being indoors, thanks to how easy it is to dilute the virus due to more open space, moving air, and the aid of sunlight to stop the virus. One way to reduce the amount of virus in an enclosed space is by diluting the air. Just add outdoor, filtered air, or filtered recirculated air into the enclosed space using a good HVAC system. The lack of an HVAC system in older buildings or aging systems results in greater risk to those in the building. However, just opening windows to allow the outdoor air to flow in can help with dilution in these cases. Distance. How far or near are people around one another? People with COVID-19 exhale a high amount of viral particles, which is why being close to an infected person increases the risk of infection for you. The relative distance between people is a risk factor to consider. The further you are away from the infected person, the lower your risk of getting infected. Remembering the four Ds will help you and your employees identify their risk level and define what steps your organization needs to take to keep them protected.